Hello, hello. Okay, so um, I have not gone live in here in a little bit. And as we've been closing out the month, as we've been starting December, the last couple days, I wanted to jump in and talk to you about a couple things that I think are really important. This will be my fourth December now. And um, wait, is that right? 14th. Yeah. Fourth December. Um, and fourth December as a black status presenter. And so I hit black. Oh man, I can't see. Can somebody comment and let me know that you're there? I don't want to have another uh, not being able to see comments live. It's so frustrating. Hey, Kayla, I saw you just jumped on. Can you say hi so I can tell if I can see comments? Otherwise, I'm going to have to try to um, pop out and start this up again and see if I can't fix that. So as I was saying, I wanted to jump in and I wanted to talk to you about how to keep the momentum going after you've had a huge month because we had the biggest month we've ever had last month in November. And November is historically one of the best months of the year, right? We have February, April, and November are huge, huge months for our business. So we're in December now. We are almost to the holidays. We want to figure out how we can be smart about our business so that we don't have this like, okay, huge, huge month and then crash, right? Because that doesn't serve anybody. It does nothing to hit a big promotion or a big goal if you can't man maintain it month after month, right? All right, I'm not seeing comments. So I'm going to try um, to pop out of here for five seconds and then I'll be back. Hang on. Um, hmm. Let me see if that worked. Oh, hi. Okay, awesome. Awesome. It did work. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I want you to drop a comment below if November was your best month. Or let's say, hey Kelly, and if it was your top three best months, drop an emoji, drop a comment below. And then we will talk about how to work our way through that. So we're in December. December is the opposite as far as our sales trends go from most of our months. Most of our months, you know, we always start out big. Like the first couple of days, we have a new kudos, we have the excitement and, um, it's, you know, the first day, two, three days, big sales. Then what you see is you kind of have this lull in the middle, and this is every month. You have this lull, and then at the end of the month, the last week is crazy, the last two days are insane, the last day is by far the biggest day. I think we did, I don't even know what we did, but we went, um, we went into Black Friday, so the last week of the month, and we had about 600,000 in company wholesale, and we finished at, um, almost 1.6 million. Okay, so two thirds of our team sales came from the last week of the month. Now December is historically a little bit different because you have this mad rush, people are trying to get their Christmas shopping done, and then you get to the holidays and people aren't shopping quite as much, right? So it's really important in December more than any other month that you front load your month, that you really put that effort in now so that you're not seeing this steep drop off in December and we have some great things going on. We have the double hostess rewards. Um, you know, we have all these new products. We have uh, the eyeshadows, the metallic eyeshadows. So, you know, you have these options available to you. But um, what I wanna talk to you about is mindset, of course. So, do you think, now I want you to think about and, and drop some comments for me below. To, and November, like you said, November was, um, our highest month as a team, I said we were at almost 1.6 million. Our previous high was in April, we had 1.37. And um, for me, it was my highest month sales-wise too. I had 3,200 PRS. Uh, my previous high was 3,000. So do you think as a customer, our customers sit there and they say, okay, you know, I think I, think I like shopping on the first of the month. I think that's when I'm gonna place my order is the first of the month. Or, you know, I really, I, I need a mascara refill, but I really think that I should wait till the 29th or maybe the 30th because, you know, that's just when it really pulls me to shop. Do we think that's how it works? No, right? Right? Give me some laughing faces if you recognize how ridiculous that is. So why do we see that trend? It's not the customers, it's us, right? Push for later in December, Christmas gifts are joined and put that money to good use. Yes, good point, Kelly, and I'm gonna get to that too. It's us. The reason our customers are buying 
the beginning of the month and the end of the month is because that's when we are working our business so hard. And you look at yourself and I challenge you to go back and if you had a great month last month, I challenge you to go back and look at your day over day sales. Look at your orders, look at when all your orders were coming in. And you're gonna see a pattern between when you were doing the work and when you were seeing those results, right? And if we could tackle, I mean, gosh. So, you know, listen to what I just said. Two thirds of our team sales came from the last week of the month. So if we could treat every day, like we were running for that promotion at the end of the month, think about what that could do for your business. If you could treat every month, like it was November, think about what that would do for your business because your customers' needs don't change. Your customers need what they need. The only thing that changes is the way you operate your business. And it's our job, we can't control, right? Because we can't control whether somebody buys. We can't control whether someone says yes or no to hosting a party. We can't control whether or when someone signs up. But what we can control is our ability to put our business, and our business is us, right? Put ourselves out there. Ask, okay? You can, you know, so many times I will have, I'll sign up someone new and it'll be like a week in or two weeks in and they say, um, you know, I'm just, I'm not that good at sales. I'm not doing that well. And I go look and they've maybe posted once or twice about Unique and I'm like, well, how many people have you reached out to? How many people have you sent a message to asking if they want to join? Asking if they want to host a party? Featuring some of our products? How many photos have you directly messaged to your friends saying, hey, look at this awesome mascara, because that's what I did when I joined, that's all I did. I messaged everyone I knew with this horrible selfie showing my eyes way too close, and wow, look at this mascara. That's all I did, over and over and over and over again, and I did not care when someone said no, because I couldn't wait to get to the next person and show them, because I was so excited about it. Okay, and if we could treat every day like that, that's where you will see the results. Okay, it's not, there's no such thing as I'm not good at sales. There's no such thing as I'm not good at sponsoring. They're not talent. They're not, if they were a talent, I'd be in trouble. They are skills and skills are something that you can learn. Okay, it's consistency, it's learning the right language and it's doing it over and over and over again. Exactly, do everything 10 times. So we have some great tools this month and I want to make sure because when you look now, now um, you know, those of you who I've worked with one-on-one, -on -one, you know that I like to lead with the opportunity. So what I want you to do, if you're somebody who struggles to sponsor, or even if you're someone who feels like you're really strong at selling, but maybe you're not as strong as sponsoring, I want you to start looking at sponsoring as a sale, okay? You are selling the opportunity in the same way that you sell a product. Okay, and I hear people tell me, oh, I can sell really well, but I just can't sign anybody up. No, that's not true. You are selling the opportunity in the same way that you sell a product. Okay, so we had Elise Post go around about um, reaching out to the men for Christmas gifts for their wives, right? Men are going to be more blunt, more direct. They're not going to want the fluff. They're not going to want you to tell them how beautiful they are. They want to know what's it going to cost me and is it gonna make her happy and is it gonna make my life easier, right? So instead of just reaching out to the men about, hey, can I help your wife do Christmas shopping? Say, hey, why don't I help you get a gift for your wife that can actually pay itself back, right? And sell the opportunity the same way you sell the product. Um, when you're reaching out about the bonuses, like, look, we're talking about the, these so if you don't know, you should know if you've been following along on this page or in your upline elites page, uh, you're welcome, Monique. Yeah, $300, Kayla, came from men, sales from men. So bonuses this month, right? If you're in your fast start period, you have the fast start bonuses, the $50 Y cash, the $100 Y cash, the $100 cash bonus. You have your, if you're in your first 90 days, you get your $200 if you hit pink in 90. Um, now we have pink and blue bonuses too. So the pink bonus from last month is carried over. Anyone who's a first time pink this month will get $200. Anyone who's a first time blue will get $300. And those bonuses are stackable, right? So you could be, if you're in your first 90 days, you could get $700 in bonuses on top of all the free product and the Y cash and the money that you're making off of your normal paycheck. 
So instead of just talking to your team about this, talk to your customers about this. Go live and talk about how this is the perfect time to sign up because you have this opportunity to have your Christmas paid for. Paid for. And there are plenty of people who have hit, I can think of four right now, just on my front line, just people I personally signed up who hit blue their first month. Okay, it is so doable to get to blue in four weeks and way more doable to get to pink in four weeks. And then what you have to do is we talked about keep momentum going, right? Keep that excitement going. Um, mapping. We've talked, you know, if we've worked one-on-one, -on -one, mapping is huge, huge. So it's not enough for you to say, let's talk about pink. It is not enough for you to say, I want that pink bonus. I'm going to hit pink this month. It's $2,000 in company wholesale. All right, I got it. That is a goal. That is not a plan. And if you have a goal without a plan, you're going to be spinning your wheels. Okay, so here's what I do. All right, I want pink by the end of the month. That's $2,000 in company wholesale. Megan and I just did this when she was going blue. Courtney and I just did this when she went blue. $2,000 by the end of the month. That means that I need $1,000 on the 15th. Okay, but it's not enough to stop there. That means I need $500 in company sales by the end of the first week. And that means that I'm gonna take every person on my team that is working and I'm gonna divide that 500 among those people and divide it by the seven days of the week. And I'm gonna go to them and I'm gonna say, okay, let's say it comes out to $50 per person per day. It's not, it's gonna be less than this. Um, then you're gonna go to every person on your team and say, we have a goal and this is how we're gonna hit this goal. And this is what Courtney just did when she hit blue last month. We are gonna sell, all of us are gonna sell one mascara a day. Okay, and let's check in with each other and hold each other accountable so we could sell our one mascara a day, right? And this is what you do. This is what, we have so much free reign in this job because you don't have a boss. No one's gonna tell you what you have to do. If you don't do it, that's up to you, that's on you. But if you were at a corporate job, this is what they would say. They wouldn't say, okay, well, you know, there's this goal of $2,000 in sales by the end of the month and I hope you hit it, cool. Nope, they'd say, here is your requirement to keep your job. You have to sell $2,000 by the end of the month, so figure it out, let's break it up. Let's check in with weekly goals. I'm not gonna do that for you because I'm not your boss. I will set that path and then you have to take the reins for that for yourself, right? But it is so doable, so doable. If you saw the post I did a couple days ago, um, I try to hold myself accountable to the fast start period every week. So, or every month, excuse me. So had I signed up November 1st, in November I would have been almost blue with the first two tiers of the fast start program. Okay, so I hold myself to that even though I don't need to be doing that anymore that is the only way you continue to grow if you hold yourself to that, All right? So the other thing I wanna talk about with momentum, oh, thanks, Teresa. I know I haven't been live in here in a while. November was so crazy that um, I you know, wasn't even thinking about doing lives on the team page, but you know, we had our great 14 days of leadership, all these great other leaders that came and spoke to you. Um, okay, the other thing, I know, believe me, I know, November was exhausting, I'm tired, Holidays, I have not even started my Christmas shopping. I did like some stocking stuffers today. My whiteboard is just like my list of, to my to-do list keeps getting longer every day instead of getting shorter. And I understand the desire to pull back. And I am not somebody who's gonna tell you, work harder, work harder, work harder all the time because I don't think that's realistic. You will burn out. If you feel like you need to step back, if you feel like you have pushed yourself too hard, if you feel like November was too much for you, rest. Do not say, I'm gonna take December easy, I'm gonna take December off and then I'll hit it hard again in January because January is not gonna wait for you. January is when our incentive period starts. January people are earning Cancun, that's when you gotta be ready to go and if you take December off, you are gonna start out January behind and you're gonna be kicking yourself throughout 2018 because instead of hitting your business from a position of I'm ready, you're gonna be starting your business from a position of I'm trying to play catch up, okay? I promise you if you sit back and wait for January to start working, you are going to be behind where you wanna be. So we're gonna set that stage now. So if you feel exhausted and it's okay, <laughs> 
work in little rest for yourself. So when I just talked about mapping, map out your month, map, I have to do this. I'm somebody who doesn't really know when to draw the line. And so I have to say, you know what, today I'm going to reward myself with an hour nap. All right. Or this morning, like Mike got up and, and cleaned the house for me so that I could sleep in. And I normally would be like, no, I got to get up. I got to get all this work done. And I said, no, I'm going to reward myself with sleeping in this morning. And then you can come back and you can address your business on your own terms, but don't disappear and take that whole month easy and do it to the detriment of your own business. I mean, I saw Krista just jumped on and I remember when we were brand new, Krista did a training call and can't wait to watch The Shining. Yeah, Kira, I'd love to watch it with you. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, you're getting me sidetracked. Kira was like swearing that she, my five-year-old, was swearing that she would be completely fine watching Predator 2 at my parents' house. Like she was begging to be able to watch Predator 2. We're like, no, Kira, there's blood, there's dead bodies. She's like, I like blood. It's okay. I'm okay. She's still like pushing for us to show it to her. Okay, so jumping back in. Yes, finding consistency that won't sage, finding finding consistency that won't leave you feeling drained but won't kill your business and backtrack all you did in November either, right? Yes, I I am a big big fan of consistency. You hear me talk about it all the time. I'm not someone who pushes people really hard to promotion when they can't ever hit again. I don't think that serves you. I don't that doesn't serve me. It's that's not what I want out of this business. Um I was going to say I remember when we were brand new and Krista did a training call and she said a day that you decide not to work your business is a day that you will never get back. You will never get that day back. So it is okay if you can't put in 10 hours a day. All right? I I did not, when I was building my business, I was building at an hour or two a night because that's all I could give. I was working 50 hours a week. I was taking care of my toddler. Um, I was getting home at nine o'clock at night. That's all I could do. But I said, I'm going to do something every day to move my business forward. Okay, so even if you can only give five minutes, that's okay, but give your all in that five minutes. And so what I do and what I urge you to do is make a list of the five things that you wanna focus on most this month, The five, and put them in order, one through five, the five things that you think will help your business the most this month. And on a day, every day, that's your goal. Every day I want to get to these five things in some aspect. But if you get to the end of the day and you're like, you know what, I just, I don't want to let this go, they go to waste. Instead of saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, just do number one. Okay, do the most important one. And the next day maybe you can do three. And the next day maybe you can do all five. Okay, and if you can keep yourself accountable for that, <laughs> thanks Kira. Uh, if you can keep yourself accountable for that, that will help you and that will serve you as you move through your month. And the last thing, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, the last thing that I will say is if you have a team and this should apply to everyone, because even if you're sitting there and saying, I don't have a team, that just means you don't have a team yet. Okay. You will have a team. If you have a team, your team is looking at you to set the example. Okay. I can't I, like, I am going to be, very, very honest with you, I don't love parties, okay? That's not the highlight of my business. That's not what lights a fire in me, okay? That's not the thing I love about this business, but I do them and I do them because if I'm not doing them and if I'm not seeing what's working and I'm not seeing new things that I can do and I'm not expanding my business, how can I sit and tell my team that they need to do them, right? How can I say, hey, here's what works in parties if I don't know because I'm not doing them myself? How can I say, here's a great way to expand your network if I'm not using that method, right? So if you have a team, you have a responsibility to show them the way, okay? And this is what happens when you don't. Maybe you get to green, okay? Maybe you get to orange. And if you have ridden the wave of your team, your team will surpass you and your circle requirement is going to get harder and harder to make and you are going to get to a point where you struggle to catch up you struggle to keep up okay and eventually that will affect your paycheck too so be the example be the leader for them be consistent don't take the month off 
You can take little breaks, reward yourself with little breaks. Don't do damage to your business just because you are tired, okay? I always say it is better to rest than quit. Hope that's helpful for you. Um, if you watch this in the replay, drop hashtag replay and ask me any questions that you have. I will try to come back to them a little later and answer. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Oh, and by the way, um, we are off to an amazing, amazing December so far. Our numbers are still skyrocketing. We're already over $100,000 in company and we're on day three. So we're, we're doing awesome. I'm very, very proud of you women. I know you worked so hard in December and um, you deserve to take a couple minutes tonight, look back at what you did, be proud of yourself. And you know, tell, I want you all to sit and tell yourself two or three things that you did in November that you are really proud for. And go ahead, you can comment them here if you'd like to. Okay, have a great night, ladies. Thanks.